Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and this is the Overwatch League 2022 season mid-season madness perfect bracket pick'em. This is tied for the longest tournament the league has ever done. Six whole days of non-stop action that begins Monday, July 18th and goes through Saturday, July 23rd. There's $50,000 on the line for a truly perfect bracket and then $5,000 for the next closest bracket. Without further ado, let's get into my pickums, London versus Atlanta. With London, I know they're pioneering the Ryan comp. You know, we've got Hottie. They're a dark horse and I actually think they're gonna take the game over Atlanta. Although I do want to say Atlanta's going to make it close just because they tend to show up really well uh, in tournament days. I think London has the edge there. So 3-2. Shanghai versus Toronto. Obviously, I'm part of the Toronto Defiant organization. I'm a little biased. I'm going to give it to the Defiant, but I know Shanghai is going to make it close because they've got championship blood. I'm going to give the uh, advantage to Toronto there. All right, the next match is going to be Hangzhou Spark versus Philly Fusion. Now, if you're a Philly fan, I mean, they're seriously the wild card. Somebody called Bad Pachamari. I've honestly never seen a team do so little with so much. I'll give them one map and then we're going to give three to Spark just because Spark is surprisingly good. Houston versus Florida. Hmm. We know Houston's got, they've got great pieces. Dante's one of my favorite players. One of my favorite players to play on the ranked ladder as well. He's such a flexible uh, player. Pretty much pioneered Doomfist in, uh, as a tank in Overwatch 2 in the, in the league so far this year. But with Florida, this is the mid-season madness. And I, dare I say they're kind of mid. At the same time, Florida's a fun team to watch. And you can't help but cheer for them, especially someone. He's, uh, he's always super excited whenever they pop off. I think I'm going to give the edge to Houston a 3-1. Okay, so that's day one. Let's go to day two. First up, we got San Francisco Shock. I mean, I really think it's, it's all about their organization and structure. No matter who ends up on the San Francisco roster, uh, they always find success. We're going to give the edge to Shock. Next match will be Dallas versus the Toronto Defiant, my home team. As much as I want to give them love, Dallas, they have a destiny to fulfill. I'm going to say the Define are going to make it close. Three to two. Next up, we have the Gladiators versus Hong Zhao Spark. Now, I like Gladiators. They're such a strong organization as well. No matter who's on it, they're also contenders. Very similar to, to the Shock, and they've been giving a lot of strong teams problems. So three to one. Okay, the Seoul Dynasty versus Houston. Seoul can be really good if Profit decides to take over. They really do look like a Grand Finals contending team this year. I think Seoul's got the edge for this one. We'll give it a 3-1. Okay, so for the elimination bracket on Wednesday, like I said earlier, Atlanta is a tournament team. I'm going to give them the 3-2 to two against the Outlaws. The Spark and the Dragons, I think Shanghai's... Let's give them a 3-2 against the Spark here. And then for the elimination round, <laughs> the Defiant versus Fusion. The Fusion's a wild card, but I gotta give it to my team. This is where we make our uh, elimination bracket run. Give it a little hot take here, and we're gonna sweep the Fusion in the elimination bracket here. Uh, Florida versus the Spitfire. Like I said, Florida's a fun team to watch, but Spitfire, I mean, if they're running the Ryan comp, can Florida adapt? We'll give it a 3-2 to the Spitfire here. We're gonna have our second winner's round, the Shock versus the Fuel. I'm gonna play the statistics here. We're gonna give Shock the 3-2. Dallas is gonna make it close though. This is probably gonna be one of the best matches in the, in the entire tournament. Winner's round two, Gladiators versus Dynasty. I'm just gonna go for a North American bias here. We're just gonna go three, two. I feel like oh, all these games are gonna be so close. I, I think it's a disservice to even say any team's gonna sweep. I'm in the elimination round here. Let's go three, two as well. I really do believe in the rain going three, two in this tournament. Okay, in the final elimination bracket, let's go three, two defiant. We've got the winners round three, first match, Shock versus Gladiators. This is also gonna be so close. And I think this is gonna be a three, two in favor of the Glads. Dallas Fuel versus Atlanta. Let's go Dallas, but I think they're gonna make it close. Next round, we have the Dynasty versus the Defiant. I think the Dynasty is a better team, but I love me some Hisu on the Sojourn. I love me some Finale on the Tracer. I mean, Toronto Defiant, they've got such a strong support line too. They have Twilight and Twilight's an anime and I'm an anime and I watch him to learn and he's an absolute menace on the hero. I'm going to keep on the complete bias with the Toronto Defiant here. Okay, so this is going to be the Fuel versus the Defiant. The Fuel have proven to beat us every time this year. We'll say it ends here. The Fuel beat us uh, three to two. And then the Shock have to face the Fuel, but I think the Shock are going to take it three, two. And that leads us up 
to the grand finals on Saturday. First to four. This is gonna be a fantastic game. Shock versus Gladiators. Best of seven. It's going all the way to game seven here. And the Shock are gonna win yet again. And those are my picks for the mid-season madness. Perfect pick em brackets. Remember, there's $50,000 online for a truly perfect bracket. Now, don't go copying my exact bracket. I know there's only gonna be one winner for the $50,000 grand prize for the truly perfect bracket. And of course, $5,000 for the next closest bracket. But you guys tried out. Sign up, links in the description, and good luck to you all.